This ain't because they found me. How about you some sugar cane? What did you say? So, it's in, it's in Western Palm Beach County. So what is? Bell Blade High School. What is that? Bell Blade High School. Okay, why is it significant? They put more, up until like maybe two years ago, they have more professional football players than any other high school in the country in their history. And their, and their school population is like 1,600. It is like 90, like maybe 95% of black. The rest is like Latino. You know, I was wondering like where these athletes come from. You know, how do these, you know, how these dudes just, you know, because they they got this whole this whole thing they do. It was on ESPN. They did a whole uh, story on it, like how these dudes chase and catch rabbits because they burn they burn the sugarcane field and you know to, to rotate the crop. And when they burn it, the rabbits come out and these kids like come and chase on the cover ESPN in the magazine. They had a dude holding the rabbit in his hand, right? So these dudes like just crazy athletes. And the reason why is because to cut sugarcane, the enslaved Africans that they brought over, they took them to Cuba first, right? And they and they did the that the, the worst of the seasoning to basically beat them back, right? Seriously. Fire everybody leading away from you for the table. Camera come on, everybody leading away from me. What happened? It took the Cuba to do what? They call it seasoning, right? Because what they were gonna do, they're gonna have rocks. They're gonna hand these African these they are gonna hand these African people enormous machetes to have them cut sugarcane, because that's what the you know that was based on. So they would take them to, to Hispaniola in Cuba in Cuba and, and what they would do is the, the mental and physical torture that they put them through to break their will, to break their spirit. So they could hand them a machete and not have them, you know, rise up. And also they only took the biggest, the strongest, the most athletic. It was like a big breeding experiment. And then they brought them to South Florida. So their whole roots, all their roots are basically like they got African and, and some Caribbean roots. And that's all that lives in that area. And it's so insular. Their population doesn't go up, it doesn't go down. All the people, they live there, they stay there, and they work there. And that's who and then so they have the descendants of those people that were specifically picked. That's why they got that that like that athleticism. They were picked and then they're in that area and people do not move in or move out of Belle Blay except to go hell to go in there. That's where that's where that came from. That's what you do. So they right? just keep the sugar cane in the back of that high school just to just spark their, their, uh, their instincts. Once in a while, they just keep the sugar cane field in the back to spark their instincts every no, once in a while. No, they, they still, do, do, look at the, look at the you, package. Look at, look, at the, that, look, at the, look at the bottom of the package. You see what it's on? What's called the crap. That's, the, they still, they still cut sugar cane out there. Cluiston, Bell Blade, Pahokee, that's like, it's, they call it the muck. And it's a great place for growing sugar cane because it's right outside of Lake Okeechobee. So the ground stays like muddy, like muck, and you don't grow much else there other than like stuff that can grow like sugar canes, like bamboo, you know what I mean? So that's what they can grow in that area. And they said, we represent the muck, like you're all muck city, that's, that's like their heritage. So your sugar, that's where it came from. That's the South in general, isn't it?